Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, It's Count, here with a brand new Pokemon Go video, and boy do I have some exciting news to share with you. Recently, data miners discovered that all of the Alolan Pokemon have been pushed to the game files of Pokemon Go. This means that later this year, we're going to start seeing Alolan Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and this is some really exciting stuff. I'm going to be talking about all of this in today's video, so let's roll the intro and jump right into it. Okay, so now we gotta talk about Alolan Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go. This is some really exciting news considering that we really did not know how Niantic would release these Pokemon, and this is one of those generations that has been highly anticipated for a very long time among the Pokemon Go community. I know for myself personally, I've been very much looking forward to this generation being released into Pokemon Go because some of the most powerful legendaries are in this generation, and on top of that, there's a lot of fan favorite Pokemon like Mimikyu in this generation, so I know that this will definitely breathe life into Pokemon Go. I don't have exact details on when they're going to release Alolan Pokemon or even how they're going to release them, but it looks like because all of these Pokemon are now on the game servers, we're likely to get them sometime later this year. In fact, recently it's been said that there's going to be some Pokemon Go related news on Pokemon Go Day on February 26th, and I predict that this is going to be the day that they're going to announce that Alolan Pokemon are arriving to Pokemon Go. Now, of course, right now, all the focus is on the Johto Tour event, and eventually we will have Pokemon Go Fest be the forefront of everyone's minds, but I do think Alolan Pokemon are going to make an appearance in Pokemon Go later this year. Whether it's going to be through some sort of special event, or maybe it's going to be through Pokemon Go Fest, but I do predict that we are going to start seeing Alolan Pokemon, and it's going to be really exciting. I'm actually wondering if they're going to start off by releasing a couple of Alolan Legendaries firsthand, considering that there's so many of those in this generation, and I do think that at least when it comes to the rating scene, it's going to be a good time for Pokemon Go players. Okay, so now that I talked about the gist of what is going on here, next let's talk about all of the different notes that Pokeminers left regarding this discovery. So first and foremost, they mentioned that every single one of the Gen 7 Pokemon have been pushed into the servers, and this includes the Ultra Beasts. All Pokemon currently have Struggle as their Fast and Charge attack, which makes sense, it's going to be placeholder data, and once these Pokemon start being added into Pokemon Go officially, we're going to start seeing their official fast and charge attacks. Now here's a section that I found very interesting. There's a couple of Pokemon that have notable evolutions. Chargebug will require a Magnetic Lure and 100 Candy, so it looks like they're going to be leaning into those special lures for evolutions. Crab Roller is going to require an Ice Lure and 50 Candy. Rockruff is going to evolve into Lycanroc Midday form when you evolve it during the day, and Lycanroc Midnight when you evolve it during the night, both of which are going to require 50 candy. Now, Lycanroc Dusk was also added, but there is no specific way to get it through evolutions. I do predict there's going to be some sort of gimmick in order to get Lycanroc Dusk, considering that that is the popular form out of all of the different Lycanrocs. Salandit is going to evolve into Salazzle for 50 candy if it is female, so basically it's going to be kind of like how Comb be works. Stuffle will require 400 candy in order to evolve into Beware. Wimpod is also going to require 400 candy, which I don't think that's necessarily how it's going to work once it goes live, but I could be wrong here. It could be like the Magikarp of this generation, but we'll just have to wait and see. Type Null evolves into Silvali Normal for 200 candy, and the other forms are not currently accessible, so I'm really curious to see how that's all going to end up panning out, and Cosmoem evolves into Solgaleo during the day and Lunala during the night, each for 100 candy. Boy Paul will require 200 candy to evolve into, you know what, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this Pokemon because I'm pretty notorious for mispronouncing Pokemon anyway, so I'm not even going to bother here. There's also going to be several Pokemon that are going to have different forms, which 
Kind of makes sense because the Alolan region really leans into multiple forms. But yeah, we have Wishy Washy, which is going to have either the solo or the school forms. Minior is going to have all of its different forms available in the game. And here we have Mimikyu, who's going to have three forms. Mimikyu, of course, is the fan favorite Pokemon out of the Alolan region. And it looks like you can either get the regular form, the busted form, and the disguised form. All three of these are very intriguing. I'm really curious to see how they're going to do Mimikyu. I'm presuming that it's going to involve the Halloween of 2022 event. And then we have Necrozma, which is going to have the normal, ultra, dawn wings, and dusk main forms. And then Magirna is going to have normal and original color forms. And then finally, Pokeminers actually discovered that there's going to be some Pokemon that are going to have ridiculously high attack and HP stats. Let's talk about these right now. First, there's Feromosa, which is going to have 316 attack. There's Zerkitry. Uh, again, I'm really bad with these Pokemon pronunciations, but it's going to have 330 attack. And then there's Kartana, which is going to have 323 attack. There's Guzzlord, which is going to have 440 HP, which is actually really high if you think about it, considering Pokemon like Blissey have more than 400 HP. And then there's Necrozma Ultra, which is going to have 337 attack. Now I don't necessarily know if these super high attack Pokemon are going to get balanced out with bad moves, but maybe they're going to be glass cannons like Deoxys attack form. Who knows? I'm really curious to see how Niantic implements these Pokemon or if these stats are even going to stay when they actually get released. So yeah, overall, there's a lot to look forward to here when it comes to all of these Alolan Pokemon. I really do think that there's a lot of interesting things that Niantic could do with this generation, and I'm really curious to see what kind of design mechanics they implement alongside them. We'll just have to wait and see, but it is a very exciting time for Pokemon Go players. We're getting ourselves a brand new set of Pokemon and legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Go in 2022. Now, before I end this video, can I just point out how funny it is that we are already at the Alolan region of Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and we still do not have Kecleon in this game. I think when it comes to all of the Pokemon that are still unreleased in Pokemon Go, Niantic needs to step it up and release these Pokemon. I'm really kind of tired of seeing all of these different holes in my Pokedex, but hopefully when they do release these unreleased Pokemon, it's going to be in a really cool way. But in any case, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say regarding all of this data mined info. And of course, because this is data mined info, make sure you take it with a grain of salt because everything can change once these Pokemon are officially released. But regardless, I would love to know your thoughts regarding this info down below in the comment section. What Alolan Pokemon are you most looking forward to? What are your thoughts regarding how Niantic will release these Pokemon? Definitely share those thoughts in the comments below so we can have a great discussion. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I am Kamjitsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.